sensitive proximity extension assay needs less than one drop of blood to measure the protein profile in a patient sample. Matched pairs of antibodies carrying unique DNA tags bind to the respective proteins in the sample. When the matched DNA are brought into close proximity, they can hybridize. The requirement of dual antibody binding and DNA barcoding provides a highly scalable method with an exceptional specificity. In case of nonspecific binding, the DNA cannot hybridize and no signal will be generated. Only the correctly hybridized tags are extended to an amplicon with a unique sequence for each protein. O-Link Target using qPCR enables a digital readout of 48 or 96 assays in 96 samples simultaneously. The number of qPCR cycles is related to the concentration of the protein in the sample. Data is then processed through software reporting the relative concentrations of the proteins in each sample. O-Link Explore using NGS enables readout of several thousands of assays simultaneously. The DNA amplicons are amplified using standard PCR. The sequences are designed to include adapters to facilitate correct direction for sequencing and unique barcodes to identify which protein and sample are detected. The adapters bind to matching DNA primers on a surface and the amplicons get extended. This process is repeated in cycles, which generates a small cluster with identical sequences on the surface. Each cluster represents one specific protein from one specific blood sample. During sequencing, the fluorophore for each DNA base is registered to a digital signal. The number of digital signals translates to the concentration of each protein biomarker in each sample. Professional statistical analysis tools provide robust identification and verification of individual protein profiles, unique as a fingerprint, revealing real-time biology status of the patient. It can be used to stratify patients, predict disease and treatment outcomes, understand biology, and discover new drug targets. It's truly amazing that this powerful data is generated from less than one drop of blood.